Hey everybody, this is Vic LaPlaca with Marie Max Selinski here in San Antonio. Today we're standing here in front of the iconic 210 Super Air Nautique. This boat is very unique. It stands out outside. It has the uh, blue on the bottom of the hull, the blue dome letters on top of the uh, metallic black. Stainless steel insert. This boat is paired with a nice Boatmate tandem axle trailer, spare tire mount as you can see. Um, as we make our way down to the back here, we got the fuel fill that is located on both port and starboard side. Makes it easy when you're pulling up to a gas station or rolling up to the dock. You don't really have to worry about what side to specifically pull up to the pump in. As we make our way to the back here, we have the black accented uh, NSS cover plates. Behind that is going to be our actual NSS plate that retracts out about two inches, which is what helps create this uh, beautiful wave on the 210 Super Air Nautique. We've got the surf pipe, keep the oxygen moving below the surfer, moves out to the back. And this boat is equipped with the optional swim platform boarding ladder. Makes it real easy to get in and out of the boat when you're just hanging out or trying to get in and switch out riders. Let's take a look inside. So as we focus our attention here on the transom of the boat by the swim platform, we have our pop-up pull point here. It's pretty solid. Then we have your uh, another pull point from right back here. Also seconds as a grab handle for when boarding the back of the boat. And then you'll see that Nautique has a nice open walkway right here. So you're not stepping on cushions or anything. And as we make our way back here, we have our side compartments which we have uh, trays to put any ropes or any small items back here, which below you're gonna see that Nautique has placed their ballast tanks and the fat sacks that are all plumbed in to the link pan array screen, making it really easy to load this ballast. This boat does have a total max ballast weight of 1,700. 25 pounds. Making our way into the cockpit, you'll see that they have that removable cushion there so nobody's stepping on seats. And you can stow this under the Goldwing seat if, is, if it's not necessary to have the extra seating. We do have plenty of storage, stainless steel hinges on under almost every compartment. Nice cooler, soft bag. More storage. As you see, I'll go ahead and underneath here is gonna be where the drain plug is located. V-drive access. And this just pops right on in. Makes for an extra seat there. This boat does have a max capacity of 15 people. Over here, we have much more storage, room for skis. You have your amplifiers, the trash can, your fire extinguisher, and your onboard charger. Everything is lined with carpet so nothing gets banged up or scratched. As you can see, stainless steel hinges. This boat is equipped with a full JL stereo. You'll see it has one subwoofer to the right of the driver's seat over here. It has four cockpit speakers, plenty of cup holders, USB outlets for the passengers back here, along with the 12 volt outlet. As we make our way up to the glove box, you'll see we got the nice C deck inside the glove box. This is gonna be the plug here for your onboard charger. JL head unit along with more USB 12 volt and auxiliary ports. It is Bluetooth capable, so makes it easy to pair with from the link pan array screen. And of course, one of Nautique's main components in these boats is their race inspired driver's seat. You can see that they have the notch out here to keep your thigh positioned to the left if you like looking back at your rider and when you're in the forward position it hugs nicely tilt steering wheel 
pop-up holster. The rotary dial is located to the right of the throttle, so it makes it real easy to control the throttle and access everything by push button if you'd like or by the dial on the link pan array screen. Or if you're more of a touch screen person, then everything is duplicated from here on the touch screen. Keypad, so these boats are keyless. Put in your keypad, that way nobody uh, can take your boat unless they know your code. Start, stop, your bilge, blower, nav and anchor light that go ahead and dim the screen automatically in the evenings for you. And then of course your horn. We've got the nice leather wrapped wheel. Gives for a good grip. Nautique etched out inside the uh, steering wheel, just nice accents. And then of course your phone holder, which I really like because they went ahead and thought about the charging feature of it and they made a little notch here. So you can have your phone set inside the holder with the charger plugged in and not, it's not bending your iPhone cord or whatever phone it is. Also seconds for a drain plug holder when the boat is on the trailer and not in the water. Sea, sea deck up here also. Another USB port right there. Nice leather with the piping and the accent stitching in blue on the dash. Nautique tri tries to keep everything below eye level so that way when in surf mode, ski mode, whatever it is, just running across the lake, you have full visibility over the bow of the boat. In the walkway here, we do have two compartments. The one on the console side is gonna be your breakers and your battery switch. And then on the port side here, we're gonna have your trash can hole. So dump your trash right in and then you can empty the trash can when you pop up the gold wing seat. The bow is a nice open bow layout. We have plenty of seating, JL speakers, four cup holders, courtesy lighting through the center of the walkway. And in case you happen to take a little bit of water over the front, it does have the drain right there. Pop-up cleats on both sides. Plenty of storage underneath. Carpet line, so. boat does have the locking walkway windshield so it won't flap around on you if you choose to have a breeze running through the center of the boat or you can go ahead and lock it on those colder chillier days and keep the wind from blowing through the center cockpit of the boat we do have the optional large mirror on this boat Makes it very easy to see your rider. And then when it's time to stow it away and put the cover on, you push right there and it folds down. Very simple. As we focus on the main heart here of this boat, you'll see that it is powered with the Z4 PCM engine. PCM is one of the leaders in the industry in marine engines, inboard wise. Well, thank you everybody for coming out on this walkthrough with me. If you have any questions regarding this boat or any other boat in our inventory, feel free to give me a call at 210-301-2507 or drop by one of our three locations, San Antonio, Lakeway, or Austin. Thank you, see you on the water.